Hello and welcome to today's session. Today we're going to look at how to create video tutorials. I'm in a course, a Moodle course on Moodle 4.3 and notice what we have here. We've got Loom, Edpuzzle, Screen Pal, Screen Recorder, Screen Capture, Screencastify, Awesome Screen Recorder, TechSmith, Capture, Padlet, Flip, Edpuzzle, Loom, Vimeo and Canva. And you can create your video tutorials using any of these. They are completely free. After you create your video tutorial using these tools, you will get an MP4 file, which you will upload and publish on one of these. I suggest YouTube or Vimeo, but you're also welcome to use Google Drive, Streamable, Dropbox, Edpuzzle, Dailymotion, Canva, or Flickr, as long as you have a link after you publish your video. In other words, the MP4 is a file. You're going to add a link. Make sure that the video is made public for sharing so others can view it. These are curation walls where you can add your videos and store them for later use. Remember to add a title, description, and thumbnail background image for your videos. So let's take a look at one of these to see how it's done. Right now I'm using Camtasia, which is a paid tool, but you don't have to use paid tools. If we go into, for example, Loom, notice you can get it for free. It's only for 10 minutes. But that's enough. You don't need the video to be longer. But if you want the video to be longer, you can always create two videos, part one, part two, and so on. I suggest you get a free account on each of the recorders and try them out for each activity. I'm on Loom, as I said. I have an account. I'm not going to upgrade it. I'm using the free version. All I need to do is go into new video, click on it, and then it says record a video. This is at the top right. After you record it, you'll be able to upload it, which is only available for a business plan. So in this case, you're not going to be able to do that. So let's start with the recording. Notice, um, let's continue. There's a, an extension, and here is the extension. I also have that. So let me make sure that everything is set here. Um, the cam, I don't want the cam on, so right now it's off. You can set it up later. I'm going to just do a, an audio recording. Notice you can also have a canvas there. All right, so let's start recording. Confirm what to share. So I'm going to share Okay, so here I have the option of uh, an entire screen, which will show the background. Don't want to do that. Window, which is for my computer, whatever I have on my desktop, or Chrome tab. I'm going to choose Chrome tab, and that's what I suggest you do as well, unless you have a PowerPoint on your desktop and you'd like to share that or any other desktop file. Going to go into pre-topic section where we were before. So here we are. It's screen sharing. You can see stop screen sharing. Now I'm going to start recording on Loom. Hello everyone and I'm recording on Loom. Notice uh, there's no camera on the bottom left because I disabled it. I have five minutes to do this, not ten. Uh, as in the past, okay, they're lowering their uh, conditions, so now it's five, which I think is plenty of time. All right, as I said, you can create a few. So um, let's go back to uh, the core pre-session create video tutorials where I was originally. So as I said, these are the screen recorders. You click on any of them and you record the screen. They're slightly different, but basically they're the same. So I think um, I'm going to stop. Notice how 
you stop, you click on the stop sharing at the top there. And notice what happens on Loom. Okay, so uh, they're always going to add a title. So edit and add title. You'll be adding your title, okay, which is really important. So I'm going to write how to use Loom, okay, which is this screen recorder. So that's the title on the right here. Summary applied. You can edit and add a summary chapters. Remove filter words if you wish. That's still free. Remove silences. Okay, that's a good feature. And I think uh, that's here. That's it. So let me listen to it. Boom. Notice uh, there's no camera on the bottom left because I disabled it. I have five minutes to do this. Not okay, so right now we need the link. Let's get rid of the right here because I don't think... Let's see, activity, transcript. There's the transcript if you're interested in that and it is completely free. Um, you can copy it. There's copy transcript. Notice you can't download unless you upgrade. Um, no views yet. Uh, settings. Okay, you could background noise filter. That's wonderful. And video thumbnail. That's only if you upgrade. So close this up. And now we need the link so we can share this. So go to the top, copy link. Notice you can also more actions, move, duplicate, archive. Okay. And um, we're going to copy a link. And in this case, you're just going to share the link. You will not need to uh, upload it to YouTube or Vimeo or any other video placement. So we're going to um, add the link here. Okay, we'll just add the link so you can see what it looks like. You click on add a new discussion topic. Your subject is Loom recording hyperlink the word by going into these three dots. If you're using this editor, there are other, there's another editor on Moodle. Add the link there open in a new window that's really really important and then you don't need the link anymore there we are and simply save and there it is click on it and notice even though i'm signed out nobody has to get an account on loom to be able to view this and they can also add their comments here notice um, there's a summary an automatic summary the chapters are there it's all generated by loom ai so try loom i think you'll enjoy it that's one of them and here they are try each one see which one you like best and realize that um, if you want to uh, use youtube vimeo and any of the others you will need to upload the mp4 in the case of loom you won't be able to do that Thank you for watching. Feel free to ask questions and enjoy uh, creating video tutorials using screen recorders. Thank you.